Hey guys, it's your boy back again. This time we're not in a Let's Play or anything. We're looking at some Madden ratings. So you know, who doesn't get excited for the new Madden to come out? I'm really excited. You guys seen my first franchise video I put up for Madden 18. I just wanted to get used to commentating over it. But Madden 19 is really where I'm going to be excited to start my franchise. I ain't going to tell you guys what it is. It's going to be a surprise, but once we get closer to Madden 19, I'll do a reveal video on my franchise team and I'll tell you guys it's in the NFC that's all you can know all right so this is really I like to know the ratings because that helps me determine what team I'm going to play as because I'm ob I don't want to play with a stacked team I like to play with a pretty like not that good of a team to see if I can help rebuild so we're just going to go through a lot of the positions and see what we got here so right now we're just going to look at some of the top ranked players we kn know that there was only going to be a few, like, 99 overall players. So we got Tom Brady, who's a 99 overall player. Antonio Brown, Aaron Donald, Rob Gronkowski, Luke Keeley, Von Miller, and Aaron Rodgers. Wow, Julio Jones is in a 99? All right, now we're going to take a look at just the quarterbacks to start off. So we got... Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers. Oh, wow. That's a big jump from... So there's really not going to be that a lot of elite players. Because it's from 299s to 92. 91. Matt Ryan. Cam Newton's in 88. That's decent for him. You know, I'm a Panthers fan. I love to see that. Big Ben. and I don't... Andrew Luck didn't even play last year, but I guess they're going off his other years. Phillip Rivers, Carson Wentz. I feel like Carson Wentz would be a little higher than that. Alex Smith, Derek Carr, Jimmy G. All right, so we're going to go through a lot of these ratings here. Let's look at speed. All right. Oh my gosh, Lamar Jackson has 91 speed? Jesus. Dude, he's going to flat out fly when you're playing with him as a quarterback. Oh my goodness. That's going to be insane to go against. I'm just going to go through the starting ones. And you got Mariota, 88. Tyrod Taylor, 88. That's no secret here. Russell Wilson has an 86. RG3, 85, 85, Cam, 85, Joshua Dobbs, 84, all right, so for quarterbacks, the overall is, it's really actually a little weird. Because I would have expected, I mean, it go like there's not a lot of elite, core, like, I mean, 92 is so elite, but like 99 and 99s are pretty elite. All right, but we're back here at the running backs. Le'Veon Bell is a 96. Wow, there's, okay, so there's no 99 overall running back. That's a little crazy. David Johnson's up there, and good reason. Ezekiel Elliott, 92. Todd Gurley. Devontae Freeman. LaShawn McCoy, Melvin Gordon, Kareem Hunt, Alvin Kamara. Nice. What's their strength ratings? Wow, Olivia Bell has 81. Jeez. Four nets up there. McCaffrey has an actually pretty good rating. What's his strength? Wow, they gave him a 74 strength. Jay Ajayi, Tevin Coleman, Derek Henry, Mark Ingram. Jordan Howard. Let's take a look at speed. What do we got here? Wow. Corey Grant, 96. Tavon Austin, 94. Co oh, my man. Tevin Coleman's really good. What's Shaquan Barkley's? I didn't even see. He's 82. 92 speed, 82 strength. Dude, he's going to be a freaking monster. I want to see the catching for running backs. Le'Veon Bell is probably going to lead in that by a lot. Wow. Time David Johnson is ahead of... Where is Le'Veon Bell? No way. Is this real? 
Oh no. Really? Le'Veon Bell's only a 75? Wow. They have Ty Montgomery in the number one. Okay, that's a little odd. I just don't see how Le'Veon Bell's clear down there. That's a little weird. All right, we're checking out wide receivers here. Antonio Brown has that elite status, 99, and good reasoning there. Julio Jones, Odell, DeAndre Hopkins, A.J. Green. Oh, wow, there's not a lot of, like, it goes down fast for receivers. Keenan Allen is the fifth. That's, I don't know, sixth. That's surprising. Well, is he one, two, three, four? Yeah, he's sixth. Michael Thomas is up there. Doug Baldwin. What's his speed? 90. Stefan Diggs, 92, yeah. Alshon Jeffrey, all right. Mike Evans, he probably has insane catch in traffic, though. Fitzgerald, T.Y. Hilton, Golden Tate, Devontae Adams. Let me know what you guys thought of Devontae Adams' season. I really thought he stepped up last year. That was a, he really proved himself when Aaron Rodgers got hurt. Sanders, Thielen, Brandon Cooks, that 95 speed. Tyreek, holy shit, Tyreek Hill has 98 speed? Yeah. That is elite speed. Let's check out who leads in speed. Yeah, Tyreek Hill, definitely. What happened to John Ross last year? I didn't hear anything of him. Didn't he get hurt? Alright, so the receivers is nice. All right, we're checking out tight end here. Okay, so we got Gronk with a 99 overall, the elite status. Kelsey is up there, 95. Jordan Reed, he probably has a really low injury, right? Delaney Walker, Greg Olson, Zach Ertz, Tyler Eifert, Hunter Henry, Jimmy Graham. That's going to be exciting to see. Kyle Rudolph, Jared Cook, Jack Doyle. Evan Ingram, damn, they gave him a 90 speed. I like to always see the speed for each position. Who leads in that? Yeah, Evan Ingram leads. That's nice. Or right, we're checking out tackles here. All right, David Bakhtari has the number one tackle rating above Tyrone Smith. All right, Trent Williams, Lane Johnson... Jason Peters, Joe Stolle, Andrew Whitworth. Wow, so there's not really... The tackles go down very fast. So to get an elite tackle is probably going to be a big deal next year if you have one. Because as you can see, these are both left tackle and right tackle. So that makes it even more crazy. Wow, Dwayne Brown only an 81? All right, we're checking out guards here. Zach Martin has that number one spot. David DeCastro, Brandon Cooks, Marshall Yonda, Andrew Norwell. I'm upset about that one. I'm a Panthers fan, but he Panthers probably couldn't have paid him that much. Okay, I can't say his first name, but Osimile, I know who that is. Raiders, 90. Brandon Sheriff, 90. Wow, Brown's got two guards up in the 89. Wow. Josh Sitton, TJ Lang, Shaq Mason, Quentin Nelson. He got an 83. I think he has the highest rookie overall. Little Vent Tar Dornave Tardif. He's got his medical degree now for the Chiefs. Travis Frederick, Rodney Hudson, Jason Kelsey, Alex Mack. All right. Wow, not a lot of really elite ones. It goes down very fast. All right, we're checking out ends here, both left end and right. So Aaron Donald right in 99, Khalil Mack. Why, yeah, wasn't it weird in Madden 18 that they had Mack at outside linebacker? Finally, they changed that. Mack, 98. J.J. Watt, 98. Cameron Jordan, 95. Brandon Graham, 93. Calais Campbell, 92. Demarcus Lawrence, Joey Bosa. Wow, Joey Bosa real down there. Wow, Chandler Jones in the end? I was pretty sure he was an outside linebacker. Cameron Wake's still up there doing the thing. 
Chris Jones, Keem Hicks, Yane Ngaku. Let's check out speed here. That's going to be interesting. Vic Beasley for Atlanta with the highest speed. Daniil Hunter is up there. Bruce Irving, Khalil Mack. Holy crap, Khalil Mack has an 87 speed. Yeah, good luck with that, bro. All right, we're checking out defensive tackle here. So we got Snacks Harrison with that number one spot in Dama Kinsu. That's just going to be scary, bro. That really is next year. Fletcher Cox. Geno Atkins. There's a lot of elite defensive tackles. Linval Joseph. Gerald McCoy. K1 Short. Kenny Clark. Michael Pierce, DeForest Buckner. I really feel like DeForest Buckner is going to be that new kind of prototype defensive tackle. Grady Jarrett, Malik Jackson, Danny Shelton. I can't believe the Patriots freaking got him. Jim Jerrigan. Jernigan, I'm an idiot. All right, Don Terry Poe. Check out these speed ratings. What big man's got the highest speed? Lewis, yeah, I'm looking for, wow, Fletcher Cox has an 80 speed. Jeez. Geno Atkins is also up there. Vaughn Miller with that 99 overall, that elite status, the only linebacker with it. Sean Lee's right there. I can see that. See how when he usually gets injured, injured, the Cowboys' defense goes down. Levante David, Davian Clowney, he really came out last year, didn't he? Justin Houston. Kelvin Smith. Wow, it goes down pretty fast for linebackers as well. They're really, I feel like they are making it so there's not a lot of elite players. That's really going to be an interesting thing to see how that plays out next year. Vontez Burfick, Ryan Kerrigan, Clay Matthews, Brian Arakpo, the freaking ageless one, Terrell Suggs, Nigel Bradham, Anthony Barr, Dante Hightower. To hear Whitehead, that's decent for him. Wow, Devondre Campbell is pretty low on this. Oh, they put Olivier Vernon as an outside linebacker? Oh, that's right. Didn't the Giants switch to a 3-4 defense? That's going to be crazy. I wonder how they're going to convert into that. If they're going to do a clean convert or if it's going to be a little wild. TJ Watt got himself up to an 80 overall after his rookie year. Let's check out speed. Shaquem Griffin. That wow. Oh, that's that's gonna be crazy. 91 overall. What's his ratings? I really would really like to know. Agility, elusiveness. What do we got here? Oh, wow, they did him freaking dirty, only giving him 54 catching in traffic. Well, actually, no, they didn't. There's a lot of these other... Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, that's pretty messed up if they gave him the lowest catching, but they didn't. All right. Tackling, they gave him a 76 tackling. Power. They gave him some good freaking... Finesse? He has an 80 finesse, bro. Holy shit. He's going to be a, a player I might target in my franchise. They gave him some really good stats. Nice. It's always good to see. Linebacker. You know, we got Luke Keeley. Obviously, you know, he's that alpha linebacker who always shows up every year. Does plays a lot of people can't at that linebacking spot. Bobby Wagner is the second. Deion Jones. Wow, the linebackers go down also. I'm really going to like how this plays out next year, I think. Ryan Chazier. That's just a little upsetting. I mean, not upsetting that he's up there. His injury. Hopefully, he can return soon. CJ Mosley. Blake Martinez. Anthony Hitchens. That's decent. Michael Kendricks. Hey, you guys remember when Mike Day came out and said uh, 
who was it? Ian Rappaport came out and said Michael Kendricks was getting traded to the Browns, and he got very mad for some reason, even though he went there. All right. Or we're going to check out cornerback Jalen Ramsey with that number one cornerback spot. With that 97 overall, he is a beast. A.J. Boye, wow, Jacksonville's got the two best corners. That's that's going to be gnarly. Desmond Trufant, Pat Pete. Rhodes closed, freaking Xavier Rhodes. Casey Hayward, Darius Slay, Marshawn Lattimore got himself a very nice rating after last year. Wow, he's got a 94 speed. That's dirty. Keep to leave, Chris Harris. Ronald Darby. Good ratings. What are the speed ratings looking like for them? I'm looking at the elite ones here. Denzel Ward. 95 speed, bro. Holy shit. Harrison Smith has got that number one safety spot. Eric Barry with that number two. Earl Thomas. Malcolm Jenkins, Tyron Matthew, Micah Hyde really earned himself that spot last year. Cam Chancellor, he's retired though, so he's not going to be in here, right? Kevin Byer, Keanu Neal. Buffalo's got some pretty good safeties up in here. What do we got here? Jamal Adams, 86. Got himself up there after his rookie year last year. Marquise Williams. What is his tackling rating, bro? That was just heartbreaking for the Saints, wasn't it, last year? It's the very last one. Where's he at, bro? Am I blind? 76. Oh, they didn't do him freaking dirty about that. And now we finish on the kickers and the punters. Johnny Hecker, Justin Tucker's number one kicker, Matt Bryant, Chris Jones, Sam Coach, Adam Vanateri. Dude, is he ever going to freaking retire up in here? Jake Elliott. Wow, he got himself up there after last year. Harrison Bucker as well. Graham Gano. All right, I think that's going to wrap it up for our ratings review so i see think the ratings are pretty good i like what they're doing with the how they're not making a lot of elite players i really want to see how that plays out let me know give me some i told you guys i'm playing in the nfc so give me some recommendations on who you want to see me play as in the nfc and i might just do it you know if you guys let me know i'll do it if you guys want to see an nfc team just make sure they kind of need rebuild so let me know what you guys are thinking for nfc and I'll make a review, I'll make a video of my NFC team once we get closer to Madden 19. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.